In this video, I wanted to break down one of the less common ran plays out of the Gun Bunch, and this is the wide curl out of the Carolina Panthers playbook. I'm gonna be showing one or two versions of this, and I wanna show this specifically against the meta defense, the Mike Blitz 3 meta, uh, and because it's so good against cover three, and a lot of people know that it's good against cover three. I was talking about this earlier in the season, um, but this is also really good against other defenses that you might face as well. So we're gonna go over a couple of different variations of this play and how you can use it to pretty much work at your uh, way up and down the field against any defense. Now, if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe to the channel. I upload new videos every day, so make sure your notifications are on. That way you know whenever a new video goes live. Also, if you want to get my full gun bunch offense, um, it's not just a formation so or a, a, a playbook, meaning it's not just the Carolina bunch. It's actually the bunch out of Seattle, Carolina, Indianapolis. I'm working on adding some updates for Washington, and this is a guy that will continue to update throughout the season as new concepts are are discovered so if you want to get access to the gun bunch ebook it is the best offense in madden and it's only 15 dollars. so super cheap super affordable little offensive guide for you and it's absolutely lethal um, so if you want to have some fun on offense and you want to get that guide there's a link in the description let's go over this play y curl out of the gun bunch offset so um, really I've got two, I've got, I've got a couple different setups for this, but, um, this is one of my favorite cover three beaters in the game. So literally I'm just going to run the Mabel concept here. So double flat, I'm just going to use her, um, and, you know, put my user in a spy. So I just want you to watch on the left side. Now, a lot of people know this, but let's just watch this left side. You'll see that if they are in cover three, you're going to see here that this guy is going to have a pretty good shot at beating cover three over the top for a one play score. Now that could potentially be patched. Um, I just want to make sure you're aware that could be potentially becoming patched uh, down the road. So how do you run this play and why is it so good? Well, let me show you the other side. So the other side is really good as well. And all we're going to do is we're just going to streak the circle receiver. And then I actually like to delay drag my tight end because, um, you know, everything else is going to basically run vertically on this play. So if they're running cover three on the backside, it's not quite as good. Um, you can see here, I'm, I wasn't able to get it. Part of it is it, it will work on that side of the field, but it just won't work as good. Um, so let me just show you here. Let me try to let me try to let me try to like mimic what will happen if you put zone drops on like if they have like a cover three Mabel uh, type setup with 25 yard clouds and all that you're not going to get this jam animation scene that's kind of what's messing this up um, so let me show this let me kind of get these guys out of the way let me see if I could just base I don't want to base a line but let me just move let me just move these guys out of the way because I just don't want them to press that's the that's the whole that's the whole problem right now is that these guys are pressing the the guy, which they wouldn't do that if they're in a zone drop. Okay, so if they're playing cover three, Mabel, this this they wouldn't be able to, to press me. So, anyways, um, there they still kind of got me. But you see here, you can lob this over the top to the right side, and you want a little bit of a faster guy there. Uh, Christian Kirk's probably way more faster or way faster than um, than um, AJ Green is. So you want to get a faster guy in there. But to be honest with you, this will be fine. So again, I just want to get these guys out of the way because I just want to show you the relationship between the wheel and the streak on both sides can be a really good cover three beater. So again, just pass this to the right. You can you can kind of click on and get your stuff going on. Now, the point of this is if they flip their, like let's say they do something like this, like this is actually a pretty common adjustment uh, this year because of the way that, or just because of the way that some of the bombs work out of cover three, a lot of people are going to something like this where basically, you know, they've got their they've got their third coming from this side. Um, that's just something that I've been noticing a lot. So if and, and that's how they would that's honestly how they could potentially combat the bomb on the left. But if they do that, you're going to see here. This is where this is going to be a really good read. Um, as you see, green is just a little slow, but you see the idea of him getting over the top. So that being said, um, the other thing that I like about this is, so it beats cover three, right? So what you're going to force them to do is you're going to force them to play deep halves. So they're going to put both outside corners in deep halves. Now I want you to see what is going to happen on this play. So we're going to put both of these guys in deep halves. And I just want you to watch the routes. First and foremost, you're going to notice that this wheel route to the running back, if it doesn't get matched right there, it would get wide open. It's not going to get matched if they have zone drops on again. 
Um, good old practice mode is not allowing us to do that, so it makes it a little bit frustrating. But you'll see here, like if, I don't know if it'll match here, but it, it shouldn't, but let's see, that's kind of what you'll get, right? So uh, that's, one, that's one reason why I really like that route. Now the other reason why I really like this route is because of this. So let's say that they blitz you, okay? So we're just gonna run kind of the meta blitz. We're gonna use hard flats and everything. So let's say they blitz me, and let's just say they put the deep half, they put the deep half out there, okay? This uh, f this wheel route is one of the best blitz blitz beaters in the game. All you're gonna do, you see that linebacker blitz, just throw this to the left, and you're gonna easily be able just to get upfield for you know three to five yards really really quick and it's really good against man and zone so um you'll see here this is man blitz pass leave that to the left again you break one tackle you could be in a touchdown it's just that good it's it's a good little check release little quick blitz beating type of route and then the other thing is let's assume that they're going to obviously we're delay delay crossing the fade that guy so it's likely that their user is going to get tied down guarding some of the other routes and that's where this route can really hit the seam really really well now it's one of the only routes in bunch if you think about it that can really manipulate that left side seam i don't know if very there's not a great post route like bunch trail is okay but it's not necessarily like a great route for what we're talking about doing where we're talking about getting this as like almost if you throw this like a post you're going to have a lot of success. So like right here, they deep path. You can still pass lead this inside and click on and catch it. That's why I like this because it gives us a Z spot type of route that we can use to manipulate a lot of different coverages. For example, um, you know, if they run man to man coverage, all you have to do is just pass lead this inside and you're, you see that right there. I mean, you're getting these really unique little angles um, against, against the opponent. Uh, let me go to a Mike blitz zero. And just show this right here so you see here just pass it inside and you can click on it and and again you're not always going to catch that but a lot of times you will and they're already most people like let's say they jam you so let's say they press coverage okay if they press coverage in madden 22 it should be a touchdown every single time you'll see right here he's going to get up top uh if it's cover zero press most of the time they're not going to run a cover zero press most of the time what they're going to do is they're going to shade their coverage backed off and you're going to know it because there's not going to be a press animation that you're going to see so because of that then what you're going to be able to do with this concept is you can just low ball this and you see that that creates a really unique type of catching window on this so it's able to beat pretty much everything in the game um let me show you this against cover four quarters so this is cover four quarters. You're going to see right here, um, this actually plays it fairly decent. You get this nice back shoulder catch a lot of the times with the running back if you want to try to mess with that. The other thing that you can do is if you see cover four quarters, this is where you've got to be uh, have an ability, I think, to be able to read the play quick. If you see this, throw right there, as you see. Like, you see that, once you see that linebacker um, hesitate, the hesitation is going to put us in a really good position. So, for example, this year, a lot of times they hesitate. So, something I could also do is this. I could just snap, throw this out here quick, and as you see, it's a quick read. It really is, and it could beat every coverage, literally every coverage. The one that gives it the most trouble is Tampa 2, to be honest with you. Um, but what you'll see is you could throw that right, right there. And if you think about the Tampa 2, if you actually think about what most people are going to do out of Tampa 2 this year, this is what most people are doing. Something to the extent of what you're seeing on the screen right here. Okay, so they're probably going to go user on the right side of the field. And if they do, that's why I like this so much because it gives us this really nice route on that left side. Now, you could run other things. If you have Hot Route Master or Slot Apprentice, you could, even if you don't, you could run like a flooding concept. You could do something like this. And this right here is going to give them absolute fits because now you've got a dominant route on the backside that they have to use her. They have to use her in some form. Um, and so because of that, that's why I like this play so much. 
And like I said, there's so many things that we can do. I don't want to, I don't have time to unpack everything. We talk a lot more about this in our, in our uh, bunch guide. If you want to get it, there's a link down below. But what another thing you could do, for example, is you could just um, take R1 and you could put him on an in route. Uh, and then you could take circle and put him on a flat, something like this. And watch what this will do. I mean, it just gives you these underneath routes that are really, really good. Another little trick that you could do with this. This is, um, I'm trying to remember the play, spacing switch. So the curl that the tight end, the tight end is on is very similar to the curl route uh, from spacing switch. So you see here, here's spacing switch. Look at that tight end curl. Now I'm going to go back to Y curl. You see it's the same exact route, right? So now what I can do is I could do something like I could hitch the R1. And then I could flat AJ Green. And now I've got spacing switch, in essence, attached to Y curl. And the way zone works this year, they can't, even though those are pretty close proximity to one another, they can't really cover both. And you could even expand on this. Like, there's so, the sky is the limit truly with this. Um, I love this. You can literally just run it as is, too. Uh, you don't have to make any adjustments. You can just come out and run the play. And you'll see that that what what's also really interesting this year in Madden is how good of a job the vertical or like the like the drags do a really good job at messing with these vertical hooks. So for example, if I just put him like if I just take green and just put him on a drag route or like a slant or an in or something, then what you'll see is watch this vertical hook. See how he's gonna have to choose one of the two. And then you can easily check down to that. So why this matters is because, again, the one defense that gives this hard, um, a little bit of a hard time is the cover two. So now you put this little five-yard little hitch or drag or whatever you want to call it. Now they've got to make a decision. Are they going to cover? Who are they going to cover? Are they going to cover the, the drag or are they going to cover the, the seam read? Because this seam read is super, super tight window. But if you've got Gunslinger, like Zach Wilson and Mutt, you're going to be able to hit this against anything. And then this also gives you yet another blitz beater. You've got so many blitz beaters with this. So something as simple as this setup is very good too from this. So I could talk about this play for a, a long time. It really is one of my favorite plays. One of the things that you'll see that they will eventually try to do is they'll go to cover for drop. Uh, and just put this inside quarter. But again, see how you can throw it underneath those deep blues. That's what makes it so good. So I'd encourage you, if you're running bunch, try out this concept. And if you want to learn my entire gun bunch offensive system, there's a link in the description. It'll get you every single gun bunch in the game. All of the meta bunches like Indianapolis, Seattle, Carolina, um, all of those, as well as Washington, a couple other ones, Miami. Um, we break down the bunch concepts this year. So if you want to get access to that, there's a link in the description of this video. You can get the full gun bunch offense for just $15. Thanks for your time. I hope you enjoyed the video. And like I said, if you want to get the offense, go down in the description, click that link that I put down there. It'll take you right over to the website and we'll get you all squared away.